The 18th of December. The four of them were doing their own separate things. Well, one was sleeping, one was dancing, one was sitting, and one was hovering. I need attention. I demand attention. He marched over to Hannah Markey who was sitting on the couch scrolling through his phone. Hero. Say say. I demand attention. You're asking the wrong guy. I'm Takahiro Hanamaki. Not attention. Funny. Can I have attention? I don't answer stupid questions. Not moving his attention from his phone his moves his arm and waits for Madsen to fill the gap. Madsen smiled and ran over to Maki to fill the space. You comfy? Very much. Madsen was laying down on his partner's lap and watching Maki's phone. What's that? What's what? That. Madsen points to a small object in the border of his phone. Oh that's just my group chat from work. They keep mithering me to up my hours when I already do a lot so I'm just ignoring them. Can I talk to them? Absolutely not. Or what? Why? Because you'll be mean about it. Matsukawa fell silent. Yeah you're right. He buried his head further into his lover's lap and closed his eyes. Maki placed his spare hand on top of his Madsen's head and feathered his fingers through his hair. Oh your hair is so silky. What shampoo do you use? Now don't tell Oikora. You used his? Yeah. Maki laughed. Nice. Respect. Madsen smiled and leaned into Maki's touch. How is it always you that gives me the most affection and love? Because we've known each other longer. If I didn't know how to love you most then I'm not doing this right. I'm so glad I got into the toxic ones just to leave and be with you. Maki's smile dropped. We don't talk about those. It was a hard time for you and you know it. And you keep going on about them. Mainly in your dreams. I sleep talk? Oh yes. Quite funny sometimes. But other times there is nothing for us to actually calm you down when you have a nightmare. But enough of that. It's a week till Christmas. After New Year we can talk about what happened with them and debrief. Oh. Yeah I don't know. You don't have to. Even if it's been a few years we know it's hard. For now. Chill. And appreciate my affection for you Madsen smiled. I love you so much. I love you more. The two fell in a comfortable silence. Not long after Ikora walked into the living room and saw them. It's fucking freezing out there. You decided to go outside and just stand there. My mum rang me and wanted to see the garden. Your mum must be bored then. Oh trust me she is. I lived with her for 23 years. Gross. I know. It was a tragedy. But I love her so it's fine. Then it's all good. Come here. I want cuddles and attention. What do I get out of it? Me falling asleep on you and warming you up. Oh bet. Ikora rushed over to Madsen and Maki and squeezed between them. Now all we need is Iwaizumi to join us. Ring him. Save us from shouting. Good point. Alexa. Call Hajime Iwaizumi. Calling Hajime Iwaizumi. I forget we have that demon. Best thing I've bought. Iwaizumi answered the call. What? I was sleeping. What is so important that you woke me up from a lovely sleep? Cuddle session. Who's hosting? Matson. The call ends suddenly. Then there were some heavy footsteps coming down the stairs. Make room. Iwaizumi ran towards the trio and snuggled up close to get his warmth back. Can I sleep again now? Sunny is. He is? Take a look. Iwaizumi looked over at Matson and saw him facing Maki's stomach with his eyes closed. Will we need to? As long as he has us for comfort, I think he's gonna be okay. Phew. Now let me sleep. Be my guest. Ikora made room for Iwaizumi to lay down and sleep. He also put a hand on top of Iwaizumi's head and played with his hair till he was lulled to sleep. Well. This is peaceful. I hate the silence we have created. Same. But we've got to live with it. For now. Sunny wanted attention and he got it. And Iwaizumi is just tired. Very good point. At least we know they are at peace. One of them are. Huh? He looks immediately at Matsukawa. He seems fine to me. Iwaizumi is who I meant. Huh? What's wrong with him? He has the sleepy wiggles. Ikora looked over and Iwaizumi and smiled. What do I expect anymore? In a peaceful state of mind honestly. Happy husband's happy life. Whoop.